So guys, the Crystal Isles free map is out now, and it brings along quite a few new creatures, actually. Three new types of rideable wyverns, and then there's a couple other enemy wyverns, which we'll be going over, along with a boss, which I will warn you in this video before I show, just in case you don't want to be spoiled. But uh, yeah, guys, go ahead and hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one. Also, yeah, this is actually technically a new creature. We'll talk about this in just a second. But I do want to mention, if you guys are looking to pick up a Crystal Isle server, my G Portal link has went up from 5 to 10% for all of June. So if you want to pick up a server, now is the time. This right here is technically a new creature. I will show you. This is a giant worker bee. It's a scaled up version of the worker bee, which is not a tameable creature, te technically. You can technically get worker bees by having a queen bee, but these ones right here are not tameable from what I know. Uh, these things are actually in a really cool cave, which I'll definitely show off in my Let's Play series. By the way, that's totally coming later on today. Don't worry. Um, so yeah, it's just a technically it's a new creature and I figured I'd show it off. Anyway, let's get down to the meat and potatoes of this video because you guys want to see the wyverns, don't you? And also the tropio as well. I completely forgot about him. Let's talk a little bit about the crystal wyverns. So these are uh, technically sort of ported. Oh God, what the hell's happening? No, 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 no. Why? What the hell just happened? <laughs> what the hell just attacked? These are technically from the mod. Uh, they are basically just a reskinned fire wyvern. But um, they look really cool. I've always liked the look of these guys. And I figured they might do a little bit extra work to make them look a little bit different for this. But they put that extra work somewhere else that I'll be showing you in a few minutes. Anyway, so these new wyverns actually all have unique abilities that we haven't seen before, believe it or not. But uh, right here we have the tropical crystal wyvern. And uh, this guy obviously comes in very, very vibrant colors. Kind of like cyans, whites, blues. Very, very nice. Um... But this one right here, if you look up at the top right screen or top right corner of the screen, we actually get a water buff by this thing. So by just standing in water, you can't swim in water, by the way, or like go in water at all with these things. But by kind of like rehydrating your creature, you will get the same buff that the Spino actually gets. So hydrated, uh, I think it's it says like boosted speed, health, regeneration, damage. Uh, okay, yeah. What the hell's that thing at the very top? You know what? Let me just level it just so we don't have to... There we go. Uh, your dino is speed and blah, blah, blah. Okay, cool. So all those stats are boosted once you have this. But uh, of course, you will need to rehydrate once that goes away. It lasts 30 seconds. I think in general, you could probably land, grab just a little bit of stam, grab this and head back into battle. I think it could be quite good. I'm kind of disappointed that it's almost like water kind of based, but you don't actually go into the water at all. And it will just dismount you if you do get in. So I don't know. But anyway, here is the breath of this creature. It's very cool. It is actually, I think it's also buffed up when you have the buff. I'll try to show it here in just a second when I don't have the buff. But um, yeah, there it is right there. It's very, very cool looking. It's kind of like a spray water breath almost. And um, here is what the eggs looks like as well. It's really cool. Now, let's move on to the second coolest one. Uh, this right here is the blood crystal wyvern. Now, this one here has a very crazy ability. Okay, so first of all, let's just take a look at the breath. So, bam. It is very cool. I love it. I love the red breath. It looks a little bit different from what the modded version looked like. But here, let me show you. Okay, so first of all, watch the health. All right. So we're going to go ahead, spray that. Okay, that didn't really do a whole lot. Uh, let me find something bigger. Um, <laughs> I got to find something to actually be able to take some damage. Hey, a Parasaur. Yay. Or a Trike, actually. Let's hit the Trike. That could be a better idea. So what we got to look for is the top right of the screen. By hitting things, you're like drawing out their life energy and healing. It's so cool. Look, look at this. We're healing up just a little bit. Not a huge amount, but it's still really awesome nonetheless. I mean, that was just a low-level creature. Like a super low-level creature compared to this level 150 force tamed. Which, by the way, here's the rough stats of a 150 force tamed. I assume that these are not a normal tameable creature. I figure that maybe you have to pick up the eggs the same as like other wyverns but i haven't tested that out just yet because literally just came out but as you can see we do heal up a good amount by killing creatures with the breath which is awesome and also apparently without the breath i didn't realize that maybe just corpses work i don't even know man this thing is so cool i love it anyway the egg is pretty awesome looking and uh, we're gonna put you back over here by the way a little bit of a change uh the the modern version of these guys you are actually able to um like pump up their speed but on these guys you cannot so obviously i figured they would make that nerf because it's a little bit silly if you are gonna go ahead and just allow people to pump speed on wyverns again and and have super fast dragons that can fly across the world and break servers anyway 
So, um, yeah, let's move on to the final one. And I can tell you right now, I can't figure out anything special to do with this guy. I really wish I could, but I can't. I mean, we could try and run around just a little bit, but um, this is the Ember Crystal Wyvern, and its breath is cool. It looks like the normal fire breath, but I feel like it's a little bit different. It looks like it goes further out, and it's not as spread out as, as well. Um, we can try and, like, kill some things here. I don't really think it does anything different, though. From what I can tell, it's just a fire wyvern, but there's definitely got to be something. Like, why would they add things to two other creatures and nothing to this one? There's definitely got to be something. So, if anybody can figure it out, let me know, because I certainly can't. Now, let's move on to the Tropio. Tropi Tropio Natus, something. All right, anyway. So, this is a brand new creature. This is actually also available on console right now as, like, a rare spawn, I guess, on pretty much all the maps from what I could tell. But uh, this guy is essentially your World War II fighter plane. Now, I, the unfortunate thing about this thing, I will tell you, it's basically a reskinned Tappy with new abilities. I don't really like that. I don't like that the sound is basically the exact same as the Tappy. I feel like maybe they could have put some, like, new sounds in or something. But, yeah, beyond that, it is actually very, very cool. So we will go through some of the abilities. So first of all, you can actually ride it without a saddle. I just have the saddle on just so I can show you what I can do. But um, these guys have a unique taming method as well. I'll probably do a separate video on that if you guys want to see it. Um, but yeah, let me show you exactly what these things do. So on PC, you hit control and you turn into this giant jet mode. And I was holding down shift. That's why we were going fast. So if you have gasoline, uh, you can turn into the jet mode. And then also if you have grenades, you can start shooting them. Boom. So this guy is very, very cool. We can also go much faster as well. And you can do a couple different uh, flying moves as well. It's really awesome. Let's actually gain some altitude here because I want to show you guys some cool stuff. So just in general, this guy could be very, very fun for like sky battles, which is something that's always frustrated me in Ark. Like fighting flyers with flyers is not very fun at all, in my opinion. But uh, using this guy definitely will be very, very fun. So here, I'm going to hit C and that's going to give us this maneuver. Now, we can use this maneuver to just continue to go the same direction and just show off to people, or we can use the maneuver and turn our camera and then go into a different direction. It's really nice. It's mostly back and forth, I guess. Side to side isn't very, uh, it's not very fluid, but it is still pretty cool. And we can also dive bomb with it. So we'll get a little bit faster. And as you can see, we are just a little bit faster. It's not insanely fast, but it is still pretty cool. Um, just in general, though, this creature, I feel like it's going to be a lot of people's favorite. I mean, the ability to, like, just bomb places like that is just, it's awesome. By the way, I don't think that you can use the gun when you are not in this jet mode. Likely due to the fact that people could just, like, fly up to bases and just stay still shooting. So you have to be using the jet, but you can slow it down. You don't have to do anything. You could just, like, shoot a bunch before you get to whatever you're doing and then do a couple laps. There are also a couple of, like, like new icons, I guess. You can see right there. Uh, let me see. What the hell? That's just, like, made a giant. What the hell? Why is that giant? Wait, hang on. Wait, we had it there a second ago. Uh, okay. I don't exactly know how to get that back. I think I was looking at, like, the gusts behind creatures because this creature actually... Uh, oh, press jump to... Wait, what is that? Wait, let's hit that. Okay, wait. Are we going to do it? Wait. Oh, did I just create a draft? <gasps> oh, that's cool. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, press and hold jump. Okay. I think I'm gaining like speed by just using those creatures. Their gust of wind behind them. I'm gaining like speed off of them by pressing and holding a uh, space bar. As you can see, wait, maybe if I like follow them actually. Oh yeah, there you go. You get a little bit of speed. Yeah, that's actually pretty cool. I didn't even know about that. That is awesome. But uh, yeah, that is the Tropio. It is a very, very cool creature. I will be, of course, taming these legitimate... Oh my god, Giga spawn here. Hello. Hello, Mr. Giga. Let's shoot him just a little. This could be fun. Um, but yeah, I will, of course, be taming these guys legit in my survival series and also probably doing a video on how to tame them because I assume a couple people probably would like to know. Anyway, so yeah, that is the Tropio. I love the, the different moves in the sky like that. This is definitely going to be one of my favorite new flyers to ride around on also it looks dope oh by the way actually uh to hit while you're in the jet mode you can hit x and uh i do believe you can actually pick up creatures uh small creatures and players with this although will i be able to find something to pick up that is another story probably not 
Anyway, we're gonna move on to some of the other stuff. I have clips to show you because I don't know how to spawn these things in. But what I will spawn in is this one thing. Let me, there we go. I will spawn in this one mega crystal wyvern, which is a alpha variant of it. And as you can see, it's just really, really cool looking. There's a different, like a couple different color variations. I'll just grab a bunch of them so you guys can see. Kind of like ranging from like black to like red and like white as well. But man, we actually got really lucky in that first one. It's very cool looking. Uh, in terms of what you get when you kill them, that is it right there. So we get uh, some of these new talons, which is cool. But uh, I have some other stuff to show you. I got to show you this other stuff because it's a pretty amazing. So yeah, go ahead and watch that clip and I'll see you back with the boss after this. So if you want to skip the boss, don't watch past that clip. Anyway, let's go. So you'll also find alpha variants of all three of the wyverns as well. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like I could force team it at all, but uh, here it is right here. This is the blood one, uh, as you can see, and I have the server paused right now. So it's got that cool, like kind of crystalline bone helmet almost. And I guarantee that if I go ahead and kill this thing, it's going to give me a lovely head. Boom. There we go. What do we get? Where is it? Oh, here it is. Look, Alpha Crystal Talon. Ooh, okay. Very, very cool. Very cool. So there's going to be three variants of this. I'm going to try and figure out if I can find the spawn codes for them, but they look pretty dope. Not going to lie. So here's another creature that I found. Male Blood Crystal Wyvern Air. Okay. It doesn't have any crystals on its back, but it does have the helmet thingy. My god, there's like so many different ones. What would I get if I kill this? Wait, its body probably fell. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Hello. Give me whatever you have. Ah, Crystal Talon. All right. Oh, I didn't even take that. It's strange. So there's like a lot of different type of wyverns in this one. So here she is. The queen herself. This is the boss of this DLC, and uh, I actually like it. I'm a, I'm a much a bigger fan of like doing something like this instead of just making a new arena. It's like, oh, hey, look, we have four Megapithecuses this time. Wow, amazing. You know, I mean, I do like those boss battles, but something like this is, it's definitely much nicer, you know, to get like a unique creature. But um, as you can see, this thing has the same kind of like headpiece as the, uh, the blood, what was it? Alpha blood air something whatever anyway so yeah it has the same headpiece which is cool it's also got crystals all over its back it looks so amazing i really love it uh but this is of course not a tameable creature i did force tame it so i can show you guys but um here let me you know what i want to actually just test something i want to see if i get the buff by going into the water you do not because here here's what i could do so we've got left click which is a bite right click which is a fire breath and then with c it actually does the life drain blood breath so that's pretty cool i didn't actually realize that it would like also do extra ones it took me a few minutes to figure that one out i can figure out if it can also do the um the water breath but i imagine it probably can't because it's not even getting the buff or anything either way it's not a tameable creature so it doesn't really matter but i still think it's pretty cool look at this thing looks so cool but um yeah guys that is it for all the creatures in this crystal isles free dlc download it now use my g portal link if you want to pick up an awesome server and uh, of course videos galore hit that notification button hit the like button if you enjoyed this and uh i'll catch you in the next one